So number one, we've got a final solution of 55 and very helpfully, we also have some lines of working there. I always love seeing working because it means I can see what you're thinking. And so whether your answer at the end is right or wrong, I can know how you got there and why. What do you guys reckon? Who's in agreement to 55? Yeah, got a lot of that. Thank you very much. And what's great is, if that wasn't right, we could actually backtrack through and say, well, maybe if my working disagrees with Sophie's, where does it disagree? Because that will either tell me where she is wrong or where I'm wrong. Okay, and so maybe if you didn't get 55 and your working differs to that, maybe you can find that point of difference. Okay, thumbs up. There's this factorization here. Okay, now I know when I look at something like this, it's easy to look at just these first two terms because factorizing usually means take out a common thing. Right? Like take an x out of that. Okay? Why isn't that an answer? Why isn't it an answer to say this, for example? Haven't I factorized it? Mm. Has anyone written down something like that? Any takers? Now, it's not, a, it's not a bad thing to do. It's certainly better than having nothing. However, if I asked you, for example, to factorize this, factorize 63, okay? You probably wouldn't be very happy with me if I said, well, that's 60 plus 3, right? 63. So that's, um, I know how to do that. That's 5 times 12. And then there's also a plus 3, right? What you've done is you've changed the question and then you've factorized a different thing. What do we use these for? When we factorize, like, why is that useful? In what cases have you seen that before? Yeah. Uh, functions, yeah, very good. If you've got a function, if I said to you, y equals that, and then I said, hey, can you graph this? Can you show me what it looks like, right? The x-intercepts I can read off from here. What would they be, by the way? Minus five, minus five and positive two. Great, we're on the right, right track. Okay, um, 59 over 12. Sorry, who put this answer up? What was your name, sorry? Will. Will, okay. Do we have some agreement on 59 over 12? Is it okay to change it to a mixed numeral? Before I come to your question, which I will answer, do I have any agreement on 59 over 12 or do I have different answers? Who's got a different answer to that? What did you get? Well, actually mine is the mixed number. It's the mixed numeral version of this? Same number? So what was your, what was your, did you write as a mixed numeral? What did you write? 4 and 11 on 12. 4 and 11 on 12. Was, does that match what you've got? Yes. Yep, okay. Now I'm going to ask you guys a question. Mixed numeral, what do we call these guys again? Improper, Improper fractions. Are they different numbers? They're not, are they? You could convert back and forth between the two. Do you think one in this situation might be better than the other? And if so, why? A, a whole bunch of you converted to the mixed numeral. Why did you do it? Like, it's extra work. Why did you do it? Because the marker likes it. <laughs> the marker likes it? I'm trying to guess what is in the marker's head. It's not a bad way to think if you can. Did you have a suggestion or a thought? Simplify. It's simplified. Do you think this is simpler than this? I think it kind of depends. Now the word simplify, right? I put the word simplify here. Wow, something's really shaking that, isn't it? Does that drive you crazy, miss? I mean, it's, it's outside. That's fine. It's that thing when they do that. Okay. Um, simplify, right? If something is simplified, which do you think out of these two is simpler? What do you think? This is question two, right? When I asked you to factorize. Which one do you think is simpler? Kind of depends, doesn't it? Um, what was that thing you told me we could do? Um, when we factorize, you could read off what intercepts? What was that? The x-intercepts, right? But just suppose you knew what the x-intercepts were and you wanted the y-intercept. That's also something that's useful when you graph, right? Which one of these is easier to read the y-intercept off? It's actually the first one because the y-intercept is right there. You have to do sweet nothing to it. You're like, bam, there it is. Okay? So the word's simpler. It's kind of what we call context dependent, right? It's like it depends on what you want to do next, because there's no next. Actually, in answer to your original question, you can, but it doesn't matter. Either of these are the same, because as you told me, they're the same number. I would maybe add one thing. Just have a look at the original question, the original question three. It gave you some fractions. Did it give them to you as improper fractions or as mixed numerals? It gave them to his mixed numerals. So there's just like a teeny part of me that thinks I'd like to give it back in the form that it was given to me. Okay, but they're both fine. You'd get a tick on both of them. Okay.